Do you do you people know what this one is saying? This one. You don't know what this one is saying, right? This one is telling you that this uh, Soludo is the next Nigeria president after Atiku. <laughs> this one, that, that Soludo is the next president after Atiku. Like somebody like Buhari, after another four years, eight years in presidency, we give him the power. Nobody else will do that. Only Buhari. Oh, why do I need the power here? Can I Buhari? Oh, Buhari will give us power. We transfer the presidency to Ibama because he has conscience. He takes a decision. He doesn't bother where you are, where you come from. Yeah, Mr. President, I'm very happy. Somebody like uh, uh, Umeha is a young man. Who fears God? Who think about the poor like yourself? Give him power to read to read the people and Nigeria as a whole. I'm very grateful. I salute you, Mr. President. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Aroma. It is still this same particular act of essay that was in the Boni State in the front of Omari and uh, Buhari shouted, "Oh, Buhari is the Messiah." Buhari is the Messiah. He is going to give uh, power, hand over power to Dave Omari. All the hand the power to only uh, everybody. In 2019, you know, just three and a half years ago, this man called Ato Eze was shouting in Abakaliki. Today, he is not even ashamed of himself. That is why we say all these nonsense elders who call themselves elders, they have expired. They can no longer make decisions for us. Somebody who was shouting three and a half years ago, supporting Buhari, all of a sudden, is now supporting Atiku. Telling you the exact thing he told you four years ago while campaigning for Buhari in Ebony State. The same man is coming now to tell you how Atiku will hand over to Zoludo. And he is not supporting the one that is contesting now. Somebody who claimed he won't leave, he will not leave. All these people are all interest. 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 Personal interest. He, somebody was shouting four years ago, how Onyibu will take over from Bugari. And now Onyibu is contesting to become a president. In the name of Peter Obi. This same man, from Anambra, the same Anambra, Peter Obi is Anambra. I want you people to understand what is going on. This same Peter Obi is Anambra. Soludo is an number. Ato Eze is an number. Soludo took over from P2B, from the same party, from uh, um, um, what is the name? The, the, the drunken master, you know, Willy Obiano. From Apga. Willy Obiano, Apga. Soludo, Apga. Now, P2B gave, who gave that to P2B? Apga. Today, Soludo is fighting P2B. Anambra. This man who called himself Ato Eze, who was campaigning four years ago, how Igbo man will become president. Igbo man is now contesting another party. The same, the same Ato Eze is kicking against Tito Obi. Ato Eze, Anambra. Tito Obi, Anambra. Do you see the, do you see the confusion? Do you see the abnormalities? Do you see the incongruousness? Do you see the stupidity? Do you see the confusion? And this is what we cannot sit down in this age and allow these elders, these criminals, to take our future and play politics with it. That is why we say there will be no election. There will be no PTOB. There will be no ATOS. There will be no uh, Soludo. There will be no David Mahe. There will be no anybody at all. Nobody. We are going to make sure we froze it. Next year. We are going to close all of them. All of them. That is the solution. You don't stay there. They tell you, Peter will be in the stronghold. They want to use Sarah Nepa. Tito people is paying Sarah Nepa to destabilize it. And these people are not asking questions. How can Peter will get to vote in Anambra? Because the electoral commission in Anambra is controlled by, by this man. 
called Solomon. Solomon don't control the government. How can people be get to vote in the police state? A lot of system in the police state is controlled by the ruling party, controlled by a These guys are all criminals, Hitlers in their own ways. How can people be get a, a, a vote in Imo State? Imo State is controlled by who of the people. These people cannot even sit in one table and have meeting. And somebody will come and tell you people will be a stronghold in, in the southeast. I am not a military man. Never. We will grant all of them. All of them will be granted and the is necessary. That is what we are doing. So if you if you come across where they are, tell you, oh, people be stronghold. People will be not have any stronghold. Do you understand that? Five states of the southeast. They have taken three away from people. Are you aware of that? So let us, let us begin to talk about, you know, let's even say uh, Nigeria. They have taken three states away from people. They have taken Anambra away from people. Where people they come from? <laughs> yeah, even, if you don't know, even if you don't know what we know, you have not seen what you see. And so this narrative must be preached to the entire Biafra people. Of course, not Biafra people, those idiots, those one percent idiots. We must preach it to them. Because where is the stronghold? In Anambra, they are divided, completely divided. So, people can never win Anambra. And I was even told that uh, Ibazo is also particular. So, where is the stronghold of uh, all these people? The, the, these are the non entities. The, the people that are shouting all these things don't know anything. They did it to a queen, the Isaac also, you know, all these things are hasty. We are going to end it next year. We froze. You know how they used to close their account? That's how we got to close the next year. We will froze them like the half bank froze the account. We will have a whole Nigeria land, but you can't have it. I will froze all of you. Election in Nigeria, in Biafra land, the next year, you will hear elections in other places and you can't hear it in Biafra. Yeah, I hear from you. All this nonsense must be stopped. They will drag this idiot, this elder, this elder around to freedom. All of them are elder around. Check it now. Check it. They gather together, they gather with Tato Eze, they gather with Soludo, and they are attacking Tito B that Atiku is going to win. After Atiku, Soludo will become the president. And Soludo, hearing that he's going to become a president, they want to catch you and enslave you for the next four years. Now, Soludo is going to do everything if you, if you don't support us, that we must end this Nigeria next thing. Soludo is going to kill people in Anambra State. To make sure that they get the vote of Anambra, they give the vote of Anambra to Atiku. He's going to kill. He's going to use all these criminals that he's calling criminals now. 